Hey everyone, my name is Minal Kuteri. I am a first year MBBS student at Ames New Delhi and I secured joined All India Rank 1 in NEET PG 2021. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about the preparation timeline for NEET year and month wise. Let me say right off the bat that this is not something that I would, I am personally endorsing or recommending to everyone. I strongly believe that people have different timelines, different paces, different comfort levels with what they're studying and you should never try to ape or imitate what someone else is doing. So what I am recounting here is merely my personal experience. There will be a lot of variations from person to person for multiple reasons. One based on their own personal choices and the way they prefer to study and based on whether you're doing regular schooling or not. I did not do like regular schooling. It was uh, one of those things where you didn't have to sco uh, attend school regularly. I used to spend my day at the coaching center. So that makes up a huge difference between me and um, not just me, between someone who's doing that and someone who's going to school and then going to the coaching center in the evening. So there's so many differences from person to person. So please do not try to it's not like I'm endorsing this as the one and only or a sure shot way to do well in it. I'm merely recounting my personal experience here. So with that said, um, my preparation for NEET 2021 started in, I think, April. Yeah, my board exams ended in March and then April is when I started studying. I joined the coaching center for my preparation after I think 15-20 days of break after my board exam. So April is when we started and keep in mind that when we started we were still operating with a you know May date for, uh, for need Covid still hadn't hit India, hit anyone yet. So we were operating with a May date in mind. So April is when we started and we started off uh, slow with 11th class syllabus. A, a lot of people uh, they have a system of doing 11th and 12th simultaneously. Uh, I did 11th in 11th, uh, 11th in 2019 and 12th in 2020. Like I did not try to do both simultaneously. So, huh, um, April is when I started. And for, I think it was December by the time I finished um, my 11th syllabus. Like in my coaching center, they finished 11th syllabus by December, Jan or so. So how did that go? A April we started. In the beginning we used to write uh, like first two months maybe we just wrote one or two uh, unit tests based on whatever syllabus was done. So this was an important part of my preparation where I started writing tests right from the start because that got me used to solving MCQs and more importantly it got me used to solving 180 MCQs in 180 minutes. Back then the pattern still hadn't changed like we were still going with the 180 questions 180 minutes while a pattern. So we were doing, I got used to attempting like on an average one question per minute right from April when I started preparing. My first test was in May if I remember right. So you start writing one test a month. After two months it became one test every two weeks, fortnightly tests. And then somewhere in August or July, I don't know, the All India Test Series started in my coaching center. So net net I started writing a test once a week, I guess. So the thing is, um, the unit test that we used to write in the beginning, right? We uh, had to, uh, the questions which used to come in that test did not come from NCRT. It came from the module which was provided by the institute and the class notes which were given to us, right? So I had very, I said short term goals at that time. I just want to do well in the next test. Like there were a lot, I, I had been hearing since then that NCRT is ultimately what is asked in the final NEET exam. But I was thinking just how to do well in the next test, right? So in this whole phase for a very long time really, I was mostly reading from modules and in the beginning when I had more time, I also read from class notes, but primarily from modules. So if I had to give a rough, timeline April to May June or so I think July also we used to have unit tests then from here uh, all India tests started Um, yeah, and by December or so, December, Jan, we were done with 11th syllabus. So until this point, I had basically 
not read NCRT much to be honest. I had read from the modules and in the beginning when we were writing unit tests because these used to be the most difficult tests that we wrote at that point. Uh, we, I also studied from the class notes which were provided. And then in Jan, Feb of 2020, we started 12th syllabus which uh, we, because we had completed 11th by that point, we started 12th syllabus which I guess went on for I don't know one or two months probably one and a half months. So this was 12th and then we stopped because we had our 11th grade subjective exams. So because I wasn't a regular uh, day, I mean I didn't uh, go to school regularly, I had to write tests only at the end like the final 11th grade exam, right. So because it, I was from a CBSE board, it was not even a board exam. So uh, here for 2-3 months, I think till Huh, till April, February, March and the beginning of April, mostly February, March, was when I started, I find, uh, for the first time, actually, I started reading NCRT 11th because now I had to learn for subjective tests where they ask only from NCRT. So for me, the first sort of exposure to 11th NCRT was here. So after this break, this was the phase around which COVID hit, like our uh, exams were um, really disrupted because of the whole COVID thing uh, in, um, and I think one exam was called off also. So March we had a brief phase of holidays, couple of weeks maybe and then April was when uh, the online classes started and we start uh, resumed 12th syllabus. So from here onwards. 12th restarts. Over here in April. So how did my day schedule change? Like uh, up until from April to Jan, Feb, I was going for classes regularly. I used to have I think like 9.30 to 5.30 or something like that. In which the last 2-3 hours were study hours. We had classes mostly in the morning before lunch. Maybe one or two short classes after lunch and then it was study hours. So what uh, after coming back home and the center was fairly close to my house so I'd reach home around 6, 6.30 I guess. Uh, I used to rest for a while, uh, have some food uh, and not get much done till I had dinner. Like I, if possible if I was feeling really productive I'd get half an hour of study in there but apart from that not much. And then after dinner I used to study for an hour or two. I'm not much of an early uh, riser. I do not wake up very early in the morning simply because I ca can't, not because I don't believe in it or anything. It's worked wonders for a lot of people. I just can't. My focus levels aren't great if I'm, if I feel like I haven't gotten proper sleep. So the earliest I could wake up would be, I don't know, six, seven. I don't really remember. Uh, I'd barely get about an hour of study in the morning. I used to use the morning, I remember, for as break time also. I used to practice the guitar for a while, listen to music for a while uh, before my parents were free to drop me in at coaching. So that's how the day looked like. I used to have five, six hours of classes. Then we used to have a couple of hours of self-study in coaching. Again, a couple of hours of self-study after coming back home. And breaks here and there, which I used to take. From 12th onwards, like in once online classes started, that's where my schedule really sort of freed up of sorts because we had online classes and because of the obvious uh, issues associated with online classes like eye strain and, uh, you know, screen time, etc. Our class hours were reduced. In the beginning, when uh, classes were, uh, when the syllabus was being taught, we had more or less similar class hours. Uh, it used to start in the... It used to start post lunch, I remember. So I had most of the morning free. And this particular thing in 12th was a huge boon for me because I found out that my focus levels and concentration levels were ideal during the day, B uh, post breakfast, pre lunch. So now from here on, when 12th started, I was able to study well in the morning because I didn't have classes then. The afternoon I'd attend classes, evening by 6 or 7 I'd be free. Occasionally we'd have late classes if there was a real rush to finish the syllabus or so. But otherwise done by 6, 7, at most 8. And after that, 
I used to study if possible, but at night I try to keep I try to keep less stuff. I used to solve questions because I found that solving questions wasn't as taxing or tiring as uh, reading. So solving questions I could do at night, but not uh, anything. So coming back to schedule, twelfth uh, restarted here. Same thing. We used to have unit tests, and later we had all India tests. I did the same thing again. I used to read from the uh, modules and the class notes or whatever and then for all india tests modules if possible a little bit of ncrt because these tests had like a mix of ncrt and um, the higher level questions from module as well so somewhere around september yeah september because of online classes they were able to uh, you know rush with classes quite a bit and obviously we had done a little bit of 12th year already right so by september we were done with 12th classroom teaching Now, I think this played a very important role in my preparation because back then uh, we were still thinking that May, June may ho jayega exam. So, this is the time we had to revise, which is still a lot, seven, eight months. But because of the constant postponements and all, like a lot of things worked out in my favor, which I'll get to in, in a point. We had our exam on September 12th, if I remember right. September 12th is when. I had my NEET exam, so I had almost a year to revise, which is why, and anyway, I don't believe in revising 11th along with 12th. I didn't do that because I found that, you know, if you try to take on too many things, you'll not do justice to anything. The only parts of 11th I did in 12th were the ones which are directly related to concepts in 12th. Like a general organic chemistry is important for 12th, for understanding 12th organic chemistry. So I did that, but others I didn't do as much. So from here on, we had a sort of um, a short tests of about 30 questions. Subject-wise tests started from here, I remember, which were pretty difficult. Like those were, uh, we used to have those tests every day, but they didn't have like the same status or same importance as, um, you know, these other tests, All India tests that we were writing. So those were mostly to give us a sort of plan to be able to revise. So that All India tests, everything included. I think by March or April, I suppose, I don't really remember, this was more than a year ago. By March, April or so, I was done with like one round of revision. And when I say revision, again, I had mostly done it from module because the uh, test that I was writing questions were coming from the module. So I was reading from that. It was somewhere around this point that I realized the mistake I had made in that I was not giving sufficient importance and time to NCRT. And like when finally papers started uh, coming which were more NCRT based, I saw this uh, glaring mistake because those papers I was not able to do well. Those were the supposedly easy ones because NCRT based questions are kind of easier than the ones based on whatever is given in institute modules and all. But I was not doing well there. Why? Because I had not read NCRT. So this is my, I think this was the phase where I started reading NCRT. Until this point, I had done 11th NCRT to some extent because of my school exam. 12th, not so much. I'd read it a little bit, but not well. So this is where my phase of NCRT revision started. I did read modules a little bit along with it, but most of my time I gave to NCRT because at this point I felt fairly confident with the module and from the modules not many questions come. It gives you conceptual clarity but very high level questions are few in need. So I realized that I'd actually left out a pretty major thing. So this whole phase for me was NCRT revision. and mock tests. In these phases like um, uh, 2020 and 2021 beginning, I had not written many mock tests because I was not thorough. I had written a few just to get the hang of it to, you know, get the experience. Like our institute didn't have many at that point, but we did uh, write, I mean, I did write from uh, NTA's app, National Test Abhyas, I think is the name of that app. It has pretty good questions. Uh, pretty difficult ones actually, it was a good challenge and a lot of them were NCRT based. So again, that was one more way I recognized that I had made a mistake. So this was my phase of NCRT revision and mock test. Slowly I was writing like one mock test a day 
and by the time the exam came around i was well versed with ncert and modules and class notes not so much but those were very high level i had read it once or twice but i was not perfectly thorough but it's very rare for questions to come of that level so i was i felt pretty overall like i was prepared well because i had covered everything i had covered module and i'd covered ncert so i felt prepared for a difficult exam as well and i'd written a lot of mock tests which again gave me confidence ki whatever kind of paper comes i will be able to solve it because i must have faced that kind of paper in one of the mock tests i'd written or some test that i had written so uh, that's about it that was my schedule another thing that i remember worked out in my favor was at 12th class board exams got cancelled so i could again divert more time towards neat preparation a lot of these things which were applicable to me will not be applicable now because they're slowly moving towards moving back towards the normal where you have board exams a lot of you attend school regularly and there won't be so many postponements in exam so mine is a bit of a special case thing based on the circumstances of them which is why i am saying ki you know everyone has their own personal journeys this was mine do this is not to say ki this works for everyone or that this is the best and most tried and tested way to prepare for neat no this is my method and if you feel like you can gain anything from it or anything in it makes sense to you then do give it a try but otherwise if it doesn't help you don't do it this is no point so this was my experience thank you very much um good luck with your preparation